In this presentation, I'll give you an overview of how SciGen SciCapture can enhance the capabilities of the RICO eQuill for forms processing and routing of documents to different backend systems. A little bit about SciGen. Founded back in 1995, we've got our roots in document scanning and capture. Uh, we focus on innovative uh, capture along with automation, and really what we provide is a single capture application that pr can provide uh, all different types of features for all different needs, regardless of the type of company or organization. So when you look at the Rico eQuill, great platform to, uh, to capture information. You can go ahead and fill out e-forms and route them to uh, either a, an email address or an FTP folder. But really what SiteCapture brings to the table for the eQuill is it allows you to link that system into any one of the 53 ECM or document management systems that we support. So you can upload your eQuill forms to a processing folder. We'll pick them up, extract data, and route them to a back-end system. So we bring uh, real forms processing power and routing to the table with the ability to read checkboxes, barcodes, hand printing, and text through our recognition engines. We can do optical character recognition for computer-generated text, intelligent character recognition for hand printing, and then our optical mark recognition engine can be used to read checkboxes, which really lends itself nicely to the, the whole eQuill notion of electronic forms. So once I extract that data and route that form, I have the ability to route either the document and the data or either or to different repositories. So I can extract the data from these forms, route it into, let's say, a database table or a CSV. I can extract the data and route the metadata and the form into a repository like Filebound or SharePoint or any of the other content management systems we support. So when you look at SciGen and SciCapture and what we provide, uh, we give you Swiss Army Knife capabilities for forms processing from the RICO platform. We can do everything from auto stamping of pages, we can redact incoming forms, we can extract forms data and process them, create searchable PDFs, just extract the data and provide a data extract to uh, you know a reporting system. So a lot of different features that we can bring to the table and really enhance the, uh, the eWriter solution. So that's a quick presentation overview. Now I'll get into the demo portion and show you how it actually works. So before I go ahead and show you how uh, we can integrate with the eQuill and automatically process inbound forms from the, the handheld uh, platform, uh, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through a manual interaction of how we can process those forms. Now this is the interactive interface for SciGen SciCapture and we can run the product either interactively or we can monitor a hot folder or a SharePoint library or even a fax server and input, uh, grab those inbound images, extract data from the forms and then route them without ever using the interactive interface. But uh, I'll save that for the end of the demo and the first thing I want to do is kind of walk you through and show you the different steps that SciCapture is performing as we process these inbound forms. So I'll go ahead and open up the Capture platform just to show you um, a step-by-step -step of the, the processing capabilities of, of SciCapture. And what we'll do, we'll go ahead and import a couple forms that have been, uh, that have been built on the, the, uh, the eQuill. Okay. So these are actually uh, two forms that uh, I actually processed and routed to my email. And there's a number of ways that you can, uh, you can post these into a hot folder. There's a little application that we can provide that will extract the att attachments and plop, plop them into the processing folder. And the Rico Equal platform will have the ability to send to FTP sites as well, which is really a nice, simple way to perform that type of processing. So let's go ahead and bring in these two forms that have been dropped into the folder. And just to give you an idea of what the forms look like, and I'll talk a little bit about uh, how the forms were designed. So if you can take a peek at these two different forms, what you'll notice is that um, they're full color forms. They've got a barcode, 
that contains some information, in this case the office and the, uh, the visiting nurse for, these, uh, for efficient home health services. And then you can see that the boxes that are drawn are actually done in, uh, in a red color. Now we do that for a couple reasons. When this form comes into side capture, once it goes through the processing, we'll actually remove all color so that we get a nice clean read of any of the boxes that are filled in. Okay, so it really enhances the accuracy. And we're one of the only capture platforms out there that can do that without using a scanner on imported files. Okay, so you can see I've got two different forms here. And these were actually created really simply in, uh, in Excel. And then um, I PDF'd them and loaded them into uh, the Rico Equal site and downloaded them to my, uh, my Equal. Now you'll see as I continue through the workflow, so I've imported the files. Uh, the product is actually going to go through now and it's going to auto extract the data. And you can see here that uh, I've extracted the, the office and the nurse from the barcode that's up above. I've actually gone through and, and read my, uh, my numbers here. Okay. So in the process, once again, we removed the red boxes so we could get a nice clean read of the numbers without any interference. I read the checkbox. You can see that uh, the visit purpose here was a checkup. And then if you look here at the, uh, at the insurance coverage, we say it's private. And then I've got a signature down below. So as we pick this up and, uh, and process the information, you can see I go through the next form, extract the number, extract the visit purpose, and then extract the other information. Now the final step that's going to happen, which I'm not going to do this time because I've done this uh, on a few iterations, is that we'll actually migrate into a couple different platforms. Um, uh, so this migration process allows me to take these different fields, migrate the data and the document to any of the 53 content systems that we support on the back end. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and close this batch and click cancel. And um, I've shown you how it works um, under the covers. So let's go ahead and drop those forms into uh, the hop folder here. And you'll see here in a second, it'll go ahead and pick up these forms, queue them, and then start to process them through the workflow. Okay. So it's actually queued them up. Now it's moved on through the process, and this will be all automatically accomplished. So what is the end result? So if I open up my browser, and the first example I'm going to show you is uh, Filebound, which is one of our ECM partners. If I come into my Filebound site, I enter my information, and I come into my home health project. Okay, and I do a search, let's say, for, for all the home health forms that we have. What you're going to notice is that uh, Site Capture picked up, auto-processed the form, extracted all the data, and then routed it right into the Filebound repository. So now I've got metadata fields populated, my office, nurse, patient ID, the purpose, and the insurance. And if you, if you remember when I showed you the forms, this was the information that was actually extracted. Okay, so now I've got them in my repository. They're searchable. I can run reports on the data. I also have the ability to come in and view the document. Okay, so you'll see here the, uh, the file-bound viewer will go ahead and launch. And now I've uh, gone ahead and built my separator and divider, and I've also got a couple of documents that were routed into, uh, into the, the Bulls uh, divider here. So now I've got my original document along with the data with the signature ver verification that's been archived. Okay. So that's one example. The other example that I'll show you, if we come in here, uh, SciCapture is actually capable of doing what we call uh, um, multi-streaming to different back-end systems. So when I built this out, I sent it to Filebound, but I also sent it to, uh, to SharePoint. Okay, And we support all different flavors of SharePoint, SharePoint 2010, um, SharePoint 2007, WSS, as well as uh, SharePoint Online, Office 365. 
So in this example, I give it some explicit instructions. I told it the library and the site to route it to, but then I had it automatically build me a folder structure based on the office, nurse's name, and then I had it build a patient ID folder under there. Now the first time we send these, it'll auto build the structure. Once it builds these folders, it'll just find them and drop the, the individual documents into them. So if I click in here, you can see I've done this a couple times, but the other thing I accomplished is I had a custom name the file based on the office, the nurse, and the patient ID, and then I had it populate uh, metadata columns. So now this information, once again, is available for reporting, uh, as well as you've got an archive document that you can go back to and reference. And in either one of these systems, you can actually now uh, route into a workflow for approval or uh, different types of business process. So that's a quick overview of the eQuill um, integration and how uh, SciCapture can enhance the platform through the use of forms processing as well as migration. If you have any questions, you can contact your RICO EWS rep or you can contact sales at SciGen.com. Thanks so much.